It's been seven months since we first brought you the story of baby Eva. The one-year-old has a rare genetic disorder and needs treatment before she turns two next year, but the drug her parents are hoping to give her is not available here in Canada, so their only options are to pay $2 million or wait on a lottery dose from a drug company, and time is running out. Joining me with an update is her father, Ricardo Batista. Ricardo, so happy to speak to you this morning. Your wife, Jessica, isn't with you this morning because she had to take Eva to the hospital. Uh, how is Eva doing now? Um, she's stable. She's in the hospital there. She's scheduled to have surgery sometime this afternoon um, because of her feeding tube was uh, basically coming out of her stomach. Last, so she had to be rushed yesterday early morning to the hospital. Tell us more about Eva's condition and, and a little bit more about what options are available for her treatment. So Eva has uh, SMA type 1. And we do have uh, a treatment here available to us uh, called Spinraza. But it's an injection that she gets, she, she needs to get every four months for the rest of her life into her spine. So there's obviously side effects to that and, and, and things that come negative effects that come from that that you know it's not sustainable for a long for the long period of time so there's another another drug available which is a single dose and it actually re uh, replicates the gene that she's missing in her body so it makes her body believe that her body's producing the gene that she is, is missing and the effects that we've seen from other families that have taken this have been like miracles that they that, that's what people say now, we know that Eva uh, turned one last week. Happy birthday to her. Um, how do you feel as her father knowing that, you know, she needs this drug before she turns two? Um, kind of helpless in, in knowing that there's something there that can help her and nothing that I can, nothing that I can do for myself to get that to her. Something that I know that she will great, she'll benefit greatly and it's within uh, within arm's reach and something that's available and you know we we just can't give it to her ricardo has the pandemic affected your fundraising efforts in any way to uh, have you raised more has it slowed down what's what's been the impact it's definitely affected um we had several events planned um where we've ra where most of our money has been come from has been through raising through events and everything has been canceled uh, we were doing we were doing uh, events of over a thousand people, and obviously that is not going to happen for the any anytime near uh, near future. So it's basically slowed us down quite a bit. Well, we reached out to Health Canada on your issue, and it says Health Canada has recently received a submission from Novartis seeking marketing approval for Zolgensma, the drug Eva needs. The submission has been granted priority review, which includes a shorter timeline of 180 days compared to the standard review time of 300. Does this uh, in any way give you hope? It's a start and it does give us hope. Um, the, the only problem is the timelines, um, like for Eva and, and for us, and a lot of other kids that have already been diagnosed, is after that timeline, after that gets approved by Health Canada, then it still gets, has to go to the provincial government for funding. And then that takes its own time. And all in the meantime, we're in a race against time. And Eva has a deadline, basically, and we're trying everything that we can to make sure we get that for her before that time expires. Ricardo, so you, you've got that timeline that you deal with, but there's another one that you deal with on a bi-weekly basis to find out whether or not Eva has won a lottery dose of this gene therapy. Talk to me about that emotional roller coaster. You know, every uh, few weeks, um, your family has to hold their breath to, to wait and see whether you get the results you want. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it, it started in the beginning of the year, so we've come, we've come to kind of hope that it, her name would get selected, but it, just like you know our, our lotto max or 649 we don't expect it to happen if it does happen we're more than grateful and more than happy and we would, and we really accept it but we don't hold our breath with that anymore ricardo thank you for joining us thank you for sharing where you are in this journey we wish you the best we'll keep you in our prayers thank you very much for having me thanks for watching if you like this be sure to subscribe here
and you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.